A lot of my teachers and mentors have been telling me I need to develop a show for myself, and I just never thought I had anything. Then my third child came along with his disability, and one time I'm, I'm trying to catheterize him, and it's taking a really long time. And I had sung through all of his like bedtime songs, and so I, I started making up a song on the spot about catheterization. And then he started laughing. And then I recorded a video with him in my lap, me singing the song, playing the piano. And then my one of my mentors, his name is Scott Hurst, who is the director of the show, was like, Andrew, you need to actually write a show. So I did, and that's kind of how this all came to be. One Step at a Time is about a family's journey adapting to and growing with severe disability while trying to maintain hope, love, and faith. The main message of One Step at a Time is found in the last song of the show called Day by Day. Life is hard for everybody. Instead of trying to look at the whole mountain and figure out how you're gonna climb it, it's easier to take one little bit by bit, one day at a time, one step at a time. As dark as the dark parts are, the light parts are so light and so bright. I promise, if you do cry, you will also smile more than you cry. <laughs> my favorite, favorite part of putting on my show is the different audiences that come to see the show. The regular theater goers, theater practitioners, dancers, the disabled community, which is my most favorite because Many times I've had people from the disabled community come up to me and tell me I've never ever experienced seeing my journey or part of my journey on the stage. It's like when you run into somebody like, oh, you, that thing we have in common, that thing. It's, it's that, but in the theater. So I'm so grateful that I get to share that and give that experience to that community. The whole point of the show was to be able to give back and give thanks to sick kids and Air Note kids. Today we've raised $11,500 uh, for sick kids and different organizations. So for London, we will be splitting our donations between sick kids and the London Children's Hospital. What I would love audiences to walk away with is a smile on their face, seeing a good story, seeing some tap dancing. But what I would also like them to walk away with is just a, a better, deeper understanding of what it might be like to live with or live with someone who is living with a disability.